What do you think when you see this? That's the question. This is a blank white canvas, but in real life, things have many colors. They have patterns that are delightful to your eyes. Today, we're going to be painting this white water bottle with a pattern. I'm going to be painting this into a pattern, a pattern of colors, and you're going to look at it and you're going to say, wow, that is a delightful pattern that you've painted on this completely white blank canvas. Um, let's, let's paint. Start off with a clean water bottle. Why do I want to eat this? It doesn't look like food, but I could be convinced. Uh, this is not a hydro flask, but it is like a hydro flask in the sense that it does hold water. Okay, so what you're seeing here is tutorial step number one. Put the cap in the water bottle and tape the top of the cap. If you don't, it will be impossible to hold the water bottle and you'll get paint all over your hands and ruin everything. Tape the top of the water bottle and then hold that taped top. Then you're ready to start painting the base coat. Once I got the first coat of paint down, I decided to dry it off with a hair dryer. Ah, fuck, got in my hair. Second base coat. Dry it again. Okay, now for the fun part. I got a off-white that looks white, but it's really an off-white color. Use like a spinning motion to thin out the paint on the detail brush. Using that off-white color, I started to create vines with leaves at the end, and I did this all over the water bottle. It doesn't have to be very specific since this will be the background layer. Was trying to do a cool transition here, but I forgot to film the part where the vines are already painted on, but I digress. My vines, my lines, and my trying times. <laughs> okay, so now you want to paint what you just painted in white in the green color. And just do it like a little off-center. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as the white, but similar. And I'm just trying to get the basic idea of the vines and the leaves down. It doesn't have to be very detail-oriented. It just has to be vines. Okay, I found it. I did film it. I can't do the transition. I don't get how people do this. When I was painting the vines and the leaves with the green color, I made sure to have a darker green on the outsides so that I could go in with a steel blue color and then paint the inner parts with a lighter color. I think it looks cool. If you don't, please don't let me know. Ah, I forgot to film it. Oh my god, it's so annoying. Okay, this is the one from before. Look at that. Remember this? Remember this? Okay, this is the blue. That's the colors I used for the flower. Oh, that was beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to be painting the blue flowers in different shades. Um, I kind of went in a circular motion with the light blue and the dark blue. I don't really know what I did, but these this is what I did. You can just watch it. Um, I was just going for like round blue flowers. You can put the light blue color down first in a circular pattern or blob, and then you can put the darker blue on top to kind of create the petal variations. It doesn't have to be very specific. Just make sure you're not mixing the petal colors together too much, otherwise you're just gonna end up with one blue color, and the idea is to have variation in blue, I guess. As a last step, I applied a clear coat as a sealant for the acrylic paint. Okay, time to remove the tape. It didn't feel right to fake the tape pool, but I did fake it at first, and then I was like, eh, I'll just show them the real thing. Damn it. Why can nothing be satisfying? I've never had a successful tape pull, if I'm being honest. I've never done it in real life, and I've done it a couple times, and it never works out. So, life is messy. You, you can't always get your perfect tape pull. It's just, it's not gonna happen all the time. Or ever, if you're me. I can't find my water bottle anywhere. So, I'm just trying to find the my water bottle. Where is it? I can't, I know I put it here some, oh, here it is. Ugh. You see, I made it the same pattern as my comforter and it's just, I can't find it now. It's just, it blends in with every, everything in the room. Um, so, so yes, this is the final look. This is my water bottle. It looks like my comforter. I was clearly inspired by the things that I've been looking at, uh, which has been just my room in my apartment for the past two weeks. Thank you, COVID-19. You're a real one. We've, we've had some good 
uh, bonding time and I've decided that this is uh, the only thing I could think of today. I would almost say that this pattern um, is delightful to my eyes. I look at this and I experience pure delight. So yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's it for this video, guys. Subscribe if you want to, otherwise don't, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys. I, I can't. Where's my wa water bottle?